Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're looking at the binomial theorem with fractional and negative indices. Okay, so uh, we've already looked at binomial theorem with um, uh, with whole numbers, with integers. Uh, so now we're going to look at when we have fractional and and uh, negative indices. Okay, so here is a general formula that is not in the formula booklet, so you're going to have to remember this one. But once you've practiced it a couple times, it's pretty easy to remember. Um, so if you've got alpha in the form p over q, so any rational number, and that's in the exponent, and you've got 1 plus x, so this only works if it's 1 plus x, not 2 plus x or something, uh, then this equals 1 plus alpha x plus alpha times alpha minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared. Then your next term is alpha, alpha minus 1, alpha minus 2. Your denominator is 3 factorial and it's x to the power of 3 and so on. Okay, and this, this bit of information is important. It only works for x between 1 and negative 1. So if x is outside that range then, then this, uh, this does not work. Okay. And this is an this dot 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 means it's an infinite series. Okay, so we can use part of the infinite series to make an approximation, but um, you're not going to get an exact value uh, for this. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, a part a. We can write this as an exponent by writing it as one plus two x to the power of half. And then in our formula, then we can say alpha is half, and our x from the formula is actually 2x in this case. Okay, so then we could just apply the formula carefully. There's lots of uh, algebra and arithmetic going on, so you have to be very, very careful you don't make mistakes. So the first term is pretty easy. That's always 1. Second term is alpha times x, so that's just half times 2x, which is simply x. And then your next term is going to be uh, plus alpha is half, so you're going to have half times half minus 1 over 2 factorial and your x squared, but in this case is 2x squared. Okay, and we need one more to get an x cubed term, so we're going to have half times half minus 1 times half minus 2 divided by 3 factorial times 2x cubed. Okay, then we're going to simplify 1 plus x. Okay, the next term is going to be negative because we have half time, half minus 1 is negative half. So it's going to be negative half times half is a quarter. Two squared is four, so four times a quarter, that cancels. So we just have the two in the denominator, so it's going to be half x squared. Over here it's going to be positive because we have negative times negative is positive. And then we, we're going to have, uh, this is going to be half, this is going to be three over two. 3 over 2 times half is 3 over 4 times half is 3 over 8. But you're going to get an 8 over here. So those 8's cancel and we're going to have a 3 in the numerator. Uh, 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 factorial is 3 divided by 6 so it's going to be half. Okay, so you have to be very careful. Lots of fractions going on there. And that's going to be x cubed. Okay, so uh, next we're going to be doing part B. And in part B we can write this as 2 times 1 minus 3x to the power of negative 1. So your alpha is going to be negative 1 and your x is going to be negative 3x. Okay, but then you got 2 times, every, times all of that, so don't forget about that too. So according to the formula, first we have 1 plus alpha x, which is negative 1 times uh, negative 3x, so it's positive 3x. Okay, and the next term is going to be plus alpha, which is negative 1, and then you're going to have negative 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial times uh, negative 3x to the power of 1, oh, to the power of 2, sorry. And one more term. We have negative 1 times negative 1 minus 1 times negative 1 minus 2 over 3 factorial, and this is going to be negative 3x to the power of 
3. All right, and there's more terms, so we're just going up to the third term. Uh, so let's simplify this. This is 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3x is 6x. And then what's this? This is uh, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Uh, 2 divided by 2 cancels, so all this cancels, and we're just going to have uh, 9. But don't forget about this 2. 2 times 9 is 18, so we have 18x squared. Okay, and the last, the third term is going to be negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So negative 6 and this 6 on the bottom cancel. So we're just going to have negative 1 times negative 27 is positive 27 times this 2 out here is positive 54 and then we have x cubed okay so that is the first four terms of the expansion of that one in the next example um, okay we have this which we can rewrite as 1 minus x to the power of 1 third so our alpha is a third our x is negative x and let's go ahead and start expanding that so according to our formula is one the first term is always pretty easy then we just multiply these two together um, so that's going to be uh, negative 1 over 3x or negative 1 third x okay and the next uh, Next term is going to be alpha, which is one third times one third minus one over two factorial times negative x to the power of two. And the last or the third term, or oh, our fourth term, is one third times one third minus one times one third minus two over three factorial times negative x to the power of three. Let's go ahead and simplify that. That's 1 minus 1 third x. Um, this is going to be negative as well, because this is negative 2 thirds times 1 third is negative 2 over 9. Uh, divided by 2 is negative 1 ninth x squared. This is going to be also negative. So we have negative times negative times negative is negative. And let's see what we have here. We got uh, 5 thirds times 2 thirds is 10 over 9 times 1 third is 10 over 27. Um, 10 over 27. Is that, let me just, just verify that again. This is. Yes, 10 over 27 divided by 6. 10 over 27 divided by 6 is going to be 2 over 5, or, so that's a 5. 5 over 81, x to the power of 3, our first, first four terms. The next one is a bit tricky. We need to write it in this form, right? If you do... If you just do cube root of, let's say, 1 minus negative 62, well, that equals cube root of 63, but the problem is this is not um, between negative 1 and 1, so it doesn't work. The expansion doesn't work. So what you can do for this one is you could write it as cube root of, now notice this is very close to 64, which you can actually cube root. Um, we can say cube root of of uh, 1 minus 1 over 64. That equals cube root of 63 over 64, right? We subtract that, which equals cube root of 63 over 4. Okay, this means cube root of 63 equals 4 times the cube root of 1 minus 1 over 64. So according to part A, we have 4 times, and we can substitute in 1 over 64 for the x value into this. 
So this is 1 minus 1 third times 1 over 64 minus 1 ninth times 1 over 64 squared minus 5 over 81 times 1 over 64 cubed. Okay, and actually let's say approximately equal to because um, in order to get it accurate you have to add these terms infinitely. We get approximation with the first uh, with the first four terms. So, so if you type all that into your calculator, uh, you should get 3.979057. So let's check out how accurate that is using our calculator. Um, so we need to do cube root of, so let's go to math, that's the fourth one. Cube root of 63 is, wow, it's remarkably close. So it's actually correct to six decimal places. Okay, in our last example, um, find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion, this one. So first of all, notice that our rule only works for 1 plus x, so we need to make that happen. So what you need to do is you need to factor out the 2. So this is 2 plus 1 over uh, 3 over 2x to the power of negative 2 thirds. Okay? Which is 2 to the power of negative 2 thirds times 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of negative 2 thirds. So our alpha is negative 2 thirds. Our x from our formula is actually 3 over 2x. And we can start uh, expanding it in the first four terms. First one is super easy, it's always 1. Second one, we multiply these two together, we just get a negative x. And then we've got um, alpha times alpha minus 1 over 2 factorial times 3 over 2x to the power of 2. And then lastly, negative 2 thirds times negative 2 thirds minus 1 times negative 2 thirds minus 2 over 3 factorial times 3 over 2x cubed. Okay, so, um, and don't forget this is all multiplied by 2 to the power of negative 2 thirds after you expand it. Okay, so we got 2 to the power of negative 2 thirds, 1 minus x. This is uh, negative, and this is negative, so it's going to become positive. And 2 thirds minus 1. Um, so actually, if you spend some time multiplying all this out, you're going to get 5 over 4 x squared. And if you multiply all this together and simplify, you're going to get 5 thirds x cubed. Okay, and then you just need to multiply this out, so it's not going to be pretty. Let's just leave it like this. Okay, I've returned one of, one of these. 5 times 2 to the negative 2 thirds over 4 x squared, then minus 5 times 2 to the negative 2 thirds over 3 x cubed.